Sivga SV007. This box. There's another box. Third box. Packaging is fine. These aren't going to rhyme with damage. It's reasonably well held in there. And then you get this. Okay, case. It's fine. It's not great. It works. I mean, it's not. It's not hard. It's not like um. Here I've got a Mezzanine 99 more case. This thing is built pretty well. This thing is going to protect them. I would trust someone to throw these into a brick wall, and they're going to be fine. And about this, good for scuffs and scratches. I guess you could throw this into a bag if you're already carrying a bag, but if you're already carrying a bag, then eh, who cares? But um, yeah, it, it's, it's fine. Not worried about packaging at all. There's the headphones. Yours would not be green. I done that, did that after. And then bag of accessories. You do get, it's not in this bag, I've got it. A decent three and a half millimeter cable. I've been using this thing for, I don't know, a year and a half. And um, one of those ones that's got a four pole and a three pole. So you have built in mic and controls. Cool. It's a it's a decent cable braided, no complaints. You also get a six foot cable. It's fine, no in mind controls or anything. It's built reasonably well. I wouldn't complain about it. Works just fine, no problems. As you can see, they're pretty. It's <laughs> just just no getting around it. They look good. They this metal, actual steel, well, probably not steel, probably aluminum. Oh, it might be steel. I don't know. That was magnet. Magnet. Nope. Um, that's probably just screws inside. It's aluminum, which is fine. This up here, I'm sure eventually this is gonna go. Actually, because once it starts breaking down, because this is this is not. It's not the nicest of fake leathers, but it's not the worst. Uh, they've obviously used different from up here, down here on the ear pads. And it, it's it's fine. There's like a good centimeter cushion right there. It's fine. I've never I've never had any issues with comfort on these. Um, adjustment feels great. I'm not worried about that breaking or losing its place at all, but if you're going to put it in the case, you have to shorten it. So I don't know why you'd use the case. It's fine. But, because the thing about these is they look so good, surely they're fashion cans. Like, there's no way that they build these to look this nice with that pretty wood, which I'm pretty sure this isn't solid all the way through. I, I haven't cut it to test it. Although I did have these open. I guess I could take them open to find out. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, it feels it, like you don't feel the wood grain. But it's fine. Because it, it's so smooth and lacquered. But it also means that, hey, I expect this finish to last a little bit longer. But they look great. They look great. They, they're fashion cans. So they assume when you buy these that these are for portable use. They're great for it. I can easily run them off of a OnePlus 5T, no problem. I can easily run them off of a laptop, an old iPod even works. So, yeah, they're pretty good for that, but I feel like people who are moving around probably also going to listen to what these sound good for, which is pop. General purpose pop. Sounds great. They image well enough that I'm not concerned that I'm really losing anything, even if I'm just listening to MP3s and pop music, which, while not mastered well, is usually recorded really well. So, imaging, great. The the low end is 
It's not subdued. It's not not it's there. But I want more. I want just a little bit more. I want just if they gave me 35% more base, I'd these would be amazing. These would be game changing. But they don't. So for metal, nah. For general purpose rock, maybe. For alternative, yeah, it works for alternative. So pretty much any, um, unless you know specifically that you like paying attention to the bass guitar in your music, or you know that you like specifically paying attention to the low end, they're probably going to be fine. I can't complain about how I feel that they would work for anything that most people are listening to. Top 100 heads, fine. They are sweet. They're very... They don't have a coating of honey over them. Maybe it's more like jam. I don't fucking... But they, they, they're not bogged down by how mid-range and upper that forward that they are. Female vocals are just crisp and sweet. If you like listening to Billie Eilish, listen to Zanny on these. Zanny on these is fucking amazing. Some songs, some headphones have very specific songs that just show what they excel at. You know, for for my DT 990s, I like Creep. Creep on those is just because you have these angelic high vocals and you have the lower bass guitar there to support and it's just it's beautiful on these Zanny because the bass is it's still well contained but it's not excessive it's like it's it's well contained bass that's just down a few decibels and because that song is so crazy in the low range, in the sub bass and the bass, it just subdues it just enough that it's no longer rattling your brain completely. And then that honey for the vocals, it just works. That being said, most songs with lots of bass do not work with these. Because it's just it's not there to to warm you up. You know? Like, um, don't let me down. That's one of those defining songs that's good for checking out whether or not bass in this song is going to be great. Or bass on these headphones is going to be great. Because if you're listening to something on, say... Oh my god, next to me. Say S, um, S, SPH, Ship 9500s, right? With the modified pads and a little bit of dampening, on these things, it's pretty damn good. You know, you get that good, warm bass guitar in there. And yet the vocals aren't completely lost because you have this wide open sound stage that works well for music of that era. And then you move on to, like, let's say, let's say Grottos. I got a pair of SRAs up there. Let's say grottos. Because they're so well rounded, you almost lose a little bit of in those songs that were a little bit more future proof than others. Because it's just a little bit it's a little bit in what they were listening to at the time, I'm sure that sounded wonderful. But nowadays where we do have where we're paying attention to the ranges that our headphones can put out. It just, it doesn't hold up, you know? But with these, they, they go back to that classic sound. You know, there's, they're, they're very vocal forward. And you're, 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 you're listening for, for the musician who's speaking. And you're listening for the vocalist. You're not listening for the rest of the track you're not listening specifically for how well it was mastered you're listening for the vocals and that's fine that's fine 
I mentioned the um, the SR80 soundstage on these. Pretty close, not as close, but it's it's, it's like maybe a good ninety degrees of soundstage. Like you're actually getting a reasonable amount, even though. Don't let that fool you. It's not that even without so added in a bit of um, polyester cotton blend in here so that I could tone down the sparkles because they are sparkly. They're very high forward. Um, so I put that in there to kind of tone down, tone down the uh, sparkle just a bit and bring forward a bit of the bass. <laughs> Didn't work too well on these. On some headphones, it works great. But I think usually um, the more closed off you are, the easier adapting mod actually works. But uh, on these, mm, not really. Even though they are, it's got this big opening. Don't let that fool you. They're not that open. They're very closed off inside. Like you don't get a ton of bleed out the sides. And as a result, or actually counter to what you might think, where, say on, um, um, oh, I was talking about these earlier. My DT990s, these are modded, actually have um, some of the same material inside of these cups. And because they're semi-closed, it gives this nice warmth. These don't, they don't take to modding very well. I don't know why you would want to mod in them too far, because these pads, for the profile that they're going for, these pads are just fine. And they're perfectly comfortable. Like, you got a good, you know, what was that? Two and a half knuckle. You got a good two and a half knuckle in there. Mm, snug three. Snug three. But a comfortable two and a half. So there's no real reason to mod them. Because they they look great. They sound reasonable on those things that most people are listening to. So they are a good general purpose headphone and that kind of fits in because when I bought these they were um, there was this big mad rush because ship 9500s were stopped being made no one was making these anymore now they are now the rush is over so these have kind of been forgotten about but when there was a big rush people were talking about these throwing these out as the general you know recommend these to your friends your girlfriend your aunt your uncle Recommend these to the people who don't know much about audiophile stuff, because chances are they aren't going to be listening to anything that is going to sound bad on these. But they're also fashion cans. So they look good. They sound decent on what most popular people are going to be listening to. I kind of do like them better for... Um, I kind of do like them better for um, for just general purpose music than 9500s. I don't know when I bought them. Um, I paid 89.95 when I bought these in September 2018. Nowadays, you look on Amazon, 99.82. They've gone up 10 bucks. At the same time. Hold up, let's actually look this up. It's on Amazon right now. Ship 9500s, 7499. They don't come with these pads. I had to put another, what do these cost? 40 bucks into these? 50? I don't remember how much uh, Brainwave HM5 pads cost, but hey. For $20 more. And you don't have to replace the pads. The original pads of these come with, they're fine. But the extra length of these give them a little bit more clamp. And they seal a little bit better. Which is fine because these are not sparkly. These are, you know, fairly accurate and neutral. Some people say they're a little bit bass heavy. I disagree. But then these, no pad swapping, come with a fully functional cable. Where the fuck I put that thing? Things hiding. It doesn't like me anymore. These things, fully functional with a cable that works with most smartphones, or even nowadays you get um, gaming PCs where they actually have the combination 
uh, headset jack, the four pole three and a half millimeter, and these are already set up, effectively a gaming headset with a mic and everything for a hundred bucks. That's not bad. How do they sound for games? Because of that imaging, they're fine. Because of that sound stage, they're fine. Granted, explosions are gonna have the depth. If you're playing a horror game with lots of deep bass notes, not a lot of depth, but chances were probably not gonna be playing that. Anyone who's getting these is probably gonna be playing Call of Duty or Battlefield, where the sound stage is worth more than the low end. So yeah. For uh, they do swivel uh, 90 degrees that way, and then 180 from that that way. So that's cool. But um, they don't pivot in. For that, I like them. Hmm. I'm gonna say these are a go ahead for me. As long as you know what you're getting into.